get a gal. No, you want it. Here you go. Collegiate athletes, high school athletes, youth league athletes, there's a possibility that sports, all fall sports may be canceled and maybe spring, depending on how these numbers go, right? Take this year to find something else you are good at because you are more than an athlete. Teachers, try to help these kids through the time. It's gonna be very tough because to be honest with you, especially in high school, a lot of these kids only go to school because of sports. If it wasn't for sports, they would not be in school or they would not be giving them full effort for it because there's nothing to hold them accountable. With sports, you need grades to be in the team, you need, um, you gotta take the SAT and have a certain GPA tied to the SAT to be eligible to receive an athletic scholarship. So because of that, you keep a lot of athletes in school. But take that away, and it's very hard. As you can see, when the season is done, a lot of kids' grades dip. Some don't, some, some stay consistent, but sports is like that chain that keeps that keeps it together to keep kids in school. So with that being taken away, it's gonna be very hard for a lot of kids to adjust because it's gonna be the first time that, you know, when the fall comes, they're not playing football. When the spring comes, they're not playing basketball or track or volleyball. So that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be really tough. Um, please encourage them to find something else they're good at. Try to, keep, try to find ways to keep them engaged. Athletes, it's also on you to find something else you are good at. You know, whether, you know, a lot of you guys use your phone, make a YouTube channel. Work on your video editing skills. Try to make an app. Um, you know, get together, brainstorm, figure something out. Try to start a business. Try to get a hustle, you know. Try to do something to keep you busy on top of working out. You know, because the season may, if it get canceled this year, it may be another season. Next year, you still got to stay in shape. And this is a life lesson. What are you going to do when the chips don't fall, fall in your favor? What are you going to do when things don't go as planned? How are you going to react? And that's how the real world is. When, when that day comes, well, all your coaches keep telling you, teachers keep telling you that sports is gonna last forever, one day is gonna end, you like, oh, whatever. It, that day will come. Cause I was told that and I didn't believe it, and it came. And I didn't have a resume when I graduated college. I had to learn how to make a resume. I moved back home, you know, it, it was rough. It took me two years to get back on my feet. And it hadn't taken two years if I would took the time out to take internships in college. It, yeah, I didn't have the time, but I could have made time because I seen other teammates doing it. And I laughed at them, but I was like, I'm not gonna leave. That, that's how I was thinking. Like, I ain't gonna be in no job. And, and, you know, life humbled me. Life humbled me. So I want, I want you guys to not make the same mistake I did because you may not be as fortunate as me. You know, just because you have a degree doesn't mean you're gonna get a job or a bag. So don't beg on that. You have to have experience in the field you're in. So you have to take internships and, and work on your craft. Um, in class, not when you're sitting in class, right? Let's say, you know, uh, you wanna do music or whatever, English, right? You need to pay attention more to English. You want to do, uh, um, you want to make a YouTube channel, right? You may have a computer class, you know, take, try to take a coding class, try to take a, uh, a photography class, a filming class, sign up for those electives. Um, try to, try to make, try to make, um, get education this year more meaningful and tied into what you want to do. Sometimes you can't always depend on the teacher to make your experience a better experience in school. You got to take accountability of yourself to do that. Um. So please, 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 please figure out what else you are good in because you are more than an athlete. You're more than an athlete. I'll give you these quick numbers. It's over, just for football, right? It's over a million high school football athletes. There's 70,000 freshman college football players. All right? Um, oh, no. There's almost. There's 70,000 college football players. There's 1,500 players that get scouted for the draft. For the NFL draft, I believe 354 athletes get drafted. A hundred of fifty of those 354 players that get drafted make it to year four. 
their career earnings for those three years is $272,000. Right on average, this is not this is not enough money to last you a lifetime. This is not enough money to last you a lifetime. Every athlete in the NBA and the NFL, because that's what people most focus on, they're not millionaires. Every athlete in the NFL and the NBA are not millionaires. That's about I say about ten percent of the NFL and NBA athletes are, are, are liquid millionaires. About ten percent. This is not enough to last you a lifetime. After the, even if you do make it to a professional athlete, right? That day will come where it will end and you will have to get back into the real world. So whether you don't make it uh, to the to league or you, do, or you do make it to the league, eventually it will end and you will have to go back into the real world. And then, even if you do get drafted, right? You make all that money. When that's done, you gotta find something else that'll make you the amount of money that you were making playing that affords you this lifestyle. And then we have to talk about money management, right? Which, which is another conversation. So either way, find something else you were good at. I hope you guys find this video well. Share this with all the student athletes, um, teachers as well. This is just to educate. You know, find something else you're good at. You're more than an athlete. I will see you guys tomorrow.